welcome to my channel IT Smart Training today we are going to learn the deployment of Linux EC2 instance in AWS so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel so let's start today's topic deploy AWS Linux EC2 instance hands-on So I go to my browser and this is the uh, IAM user login portal. So I am provide my IAM user information. It's going to me log me in. So here you can go to EC2 or you just go to service. Just click on EC2. It is under compute. In my last video I uh, show you so this is the EC2 dashboard in my last video uh, when we deploy the Windows uh, instance uh, I show you the entire tasks with um, old dashboard so in this video I am showing you the same thing in a new dashboard so this is the new dashboard experience we will do so first I can click on here instance a launch instance or we can uh, click on here instance running So here you can see that no uh, virtual machine is uh, showing here because in my last video I uh, show you how to remove uh, instance from uh, AWS but uh, there was uh, uh, showing after deleting that uh, instance that uh, um, instance are showing in the dashboard but I told you it will take some time. Uh, maybe one hours or two hours or it will automatically delete it. So you can see here the uh, previous deleted instance was successfully removed from the dashboard so now I just create a new instance from here just click on launch instance the instance is uh, for Linux so after that the AMI uh, page is open so here you can select uh, which kind of uh, AMI do you need means which kind of template do you need so uh, as of now I just uh, at first I see click uh, free tire so on it will only uh, uh, show the free tire eligible uh, instances images so next I am selecting the Red Hat Linux just select Red Hat Linux it is the most popular uh, and it is uh, the industries are used this uh, Linux operating system widely so here I just select the my hardware profile which is my T2 micro which is a free tad eligible here is a, a one virtual CPU to 2.5 gigahertz uh, frequency and 1 GB of memory and EBS storage is given there so next I configured the instance details next so here uh, you can just select the how many types of instance do you want to create at a time you can select your availability zone over here or other options I cannot change these options I will describe these options in my latter video uh, because lot more thing you have to uh, learn and then you, uh, then only you can understand uh, this kind of these options otherwise if I told here you just uh, you cannot understand uh, all these things so in my last video I describe you the protect against accident terminations options and show you how it is works if anybody missed the video please um, view the last video which is where is described the protect against accident deletions so in this video uh, I just leave these options blank and click next to add storage here is uh, by default it is taken uh, 10 GB of storage over here 
you can uh, decrease the storage as well you can increase the storage as well but you have uh, eligibility to 30 GB free for the storage 30 GB free storage you can use so I, I make the all the settings default and click next and add tax so I just adding a tag this is for machine identification name Linux next configure the security group so uh, security group is just nothing but a uh, firewall where we allow or deny uh, which IP address do you want to allow which IP address do you want to deny, deny which port number do you want to allow which port do you want to deny all the settings you can configure uh, with the security group so I will make you a separate video on this uh, so till now uh, this is the configuration by default I will uh, connect the SSH for Linux operating system to connect the remotely um, in Windows we have to select the RDP by default the SSH port is 22 and the default protocol is uh, TCP here the source is uh, any 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 means any network with any IP address uh, can allow uh, because uh, uh, that means uh, we can we can access the VM with any network if you have uh, uh, any specification suppose you are only accesses VM from your office network so you just uh, 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 you can uh, um, add here your office public IP address to access this VM so you can only access from this VM from your office only otherwise you cannot access so in the description I just type Linux just click review and launch so review page will open you can uh, review all the settings you have made previously if you want to change any settings you can uh, suppose uh, if I want to change the storage settings the storage settings is by default is at 10 GB so I just edit storage so here I set 12 GB okay so 12 GB uh, storage I uh, select so that means uh, my instance will take the 12 GB inst uh, um, 12 GB hard disk size and next you just see here yeah, there is an option encryption if I enable the encryptions uh, so that that means the hard disk total data will encrypt it so I just leave it and next or next or you can also select the review and launch so all the settings done you can see that the storage size is changed to 12 GB just launch so after clicking the launch button you have to download uh, a key which is used to log in into the operating system so I just select the create a new key pair which is properly keys downloaded uh, from my system Linux Red Hat Red Hat Linux download key pair you can see that uh, the PIM file is downloaded here I just select launch instance instances and view instances so after clicking this you can see that this VM is created and it is uh, in pending state because it is uh, still creating the image uh, in the Amazon cloud and so now you can see that this is running so I just select this machine in the down if you go below you can see the instance ID all the details of, uh, of uh, these uh, instances you can see that the public IP this is taken this uh, and the private IP address is this all the settings all the uh, settings or all the informations of that instance we can see from here you can see that this is a private IP address or we can ac also accessible this in that uh, particular VM with the uh, with this uh, DNS name which is also accessible from globally mm. so this is the public IP address 
okay so now I have to do one thing I have to download a software that is called putty you just go to Google just type putty this putty software is allow me to access that particular uh, instance of AWS so I just click download putty this is I'm just downloading the 64 bit is downloading putty is downloaded successfully now I just open now I just open that application it's preparing to install I just next next uh, install it's installing the putty application into my system this application actually helps me to connect that um, inst uh, AWS instance straight ahead instances from my system so so it is installing so here I just uh, uh, share you uh, something uh, that is uh, th here you can see that their name which I uh, th this is the tag actually the name is Linux this is the instance ID this is the instance state this is instance state is running instance type is t2 micro which is called a hardware profile status check is not showing any thing alarms is not generated yet you can see the availability zone this is the availability zone this is the public DNS IPv4 public this is the pri uh, private public IP address elastic IP is not configured IPv6 IP is not configured monitoring is disabled right now security group is by default security groups are selected uh, key name is red hat RH, RH Linux which I downloaded this one this one the key name launch time is this so put the installer giving me the warning to install my system you can see that the put the software is installed I just finish it I just go to start here I just scroll down and find the putty here you can see putty 64 bit just click on it here you can get an uh, icon that is a putty gen putty gen application is used to uh, generate your uh, token to access the uh, server or instances so I just go to the downloads uh, all files here you can see that rhlinux.pim this is the pim file I just select you can see that the all the hashes are showing uh, over here nothing to do just save private key yes I just set over here uh, name this R H L I N U X I given the same name because the extension of that file is uh, different so here you can go go to the downloads here you can see that the uh, extension of that file is dot ppk okay up to this this is done now I am uh, accessing that particular Linux instance 
so this is my Linux instead here you can select the connect option here you can uh, also get the uh, IP address over here this IP address is used to connect that particular uh, instance this is the username you can set the custom username as well by default username is ec2 hyphen user the session manager here is the all the instruction is given there of how to connect the instances if you go ssh client here also given the instructions of connecting the linux okay so now i am just go over here and same i just found putty once again and now i just select only the putty software putty software is opened so now i just copy that public key and paste it here and don't uh, open otherwise it will not connect because we have to provide the SSH information just click on SSH over uh, over here select auth under auth you can see browse options go to browse and select your file which we generated rhlinux.ppk your ppk file this is your key file private key file select and then just open see the putty is connected now you have to provide the username that is ec2 hyphen user see user is connected so now I am show you uh, this is the IP address you can see okay and then I just think www.google.com see it is uh, also connected via through internet now I just update the operating system you can see an error message uh, because uh, I have to log into the root user su So now I am uh, I have to uh, uh, do this command with uh, sudo sudo su you can see that I am logging with the user uh, root user mm, yum update you can see uh, it's updating is uh, working it will take some time to update all your packages to update so uh, if you have uh, if you have another command to access that you can you can uh, use this command to access uh, that file from your MacBook operating system your Linux operating system whatever you are using but make sure your permission should be 400 with this public uh, private key file it's almost completed cleaning process will running
almost done so this is how you can uh, configure your Linux operating system uh, or Linux instances from AWS so now I am showing you how to uh, remove the Linux uh, instance from AWS because last in my last video Windows video uh, I show you uh, the deletion process but there in the last video we configured uh, accident deletion option so in this video in in this uh, video uh, when we configure the Linux sub, uh, instance we cannot uh, use uh, that um, options actually so uh, for for that uh, we don't have or we don't get any kind of <coughs> sorry <coughs> we don't get any kind of uh, notifications on uh, that you just click on terminate or it will automatically terminate it is still updating process is going on so never mind it will uh, finished uh, after two three minutes so now I am showing to removing your uh, machine how to remove your machine so this is your machine I am selecting on the instance go to the instance state you can stop instances reboot instances or terminate instances one more thing I can show you that is I, if I go to the actions there is an options under So if I click uh, monitor and troubleshoot here you can get system log here you can get all of your system log informations over here uh, without login so you can see here the update uh, is completed successfully now I am going to uh, the termination process to show you how to terminate you can shut down your instance I just uh, stop instance that means this instance is shutting down so the see this uh, connection is closed and the system is uh, stopping here you can see see instance is stopped now I just go to the action sorry uh, yes uh, instance state here is option terminate instances so I just select terminate instances so you can see successfully terminated I am just uh, refresh my page see here is immediately uh, it is uh, terminated in last video I show you some it will take some time sometimes but sometimes it will take uh, it will terminate immediately you can see that it is terminated immediately um, uh, one thing I noticed that in my last video I terminated that uh, instances but that instances was powered on and then in that state I just terminate that instance that's why maybe it's taking long time but in this stage I just uh, stop the instance and then terminate the instance maybe this is the clue that's why it is uh, taking so long time or in this case uh, this is immediately removed so this is all about uh, EC2 instance creation Linux EC2 instance creations in Amazon uh, AWS uh, if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date Thank you for watching, see you on my next video.